Okay, so hi everyone. My name is Dana Wilkos and I'm the health literacy educator for the New Orleans Public Library. Um, I'd like to welcome you to our virtual guided meditation led by William Teeley of the School for Contemplative Living. Please be sure to check out nolalibrary.org for more virtual programming and resources, including our e-resources page where you can find uh, books, movies, and music that you can download and borrow for free with a library card. You can also sign up for a library card on our website now if you don't already have one. Uh, before we jump into today's session, I do have a few quick housekeeping notes. Um, first of all, as I mentioned, I'm recording today's session. It will be posted on the library's YouTube page and I'll put a link to that in the chat for you all to access. We have previous sessions uh, posted on there as well that you can access anytime. Um, today's program is sponsored by the Network of the National Library of Medicine, who has partnered with the National Institutes of Health's All of Us Research Program to build the NNLM All of Us Community Engagement Network. Uh, the All of Us Research Program aims to build one of the largest, most diverse data sets of its kind for health research with 1 million or more volunteers nationwide who will sign up to share their information over time. Uh, the Community Engagement Network is part of a pilot project and focuses on NNLM's mission to improve the public's access to information to enable them to make de informed decisions about their health by partnering with public libraries across the United States, including the New Orleans Public Library. Uh, please go to joinallofus.org slash NLM for information on how you can get involved. Um, and so with all that out of the way, I'd like to go ahead and turn it over to Dr. Teeley. Dr. Teeley, welcome and thank you for joining us today. Thanks, Dana. I'm glad to be with you all. I'm glad we can do this together. I was just mentioning to Dana that I thought we might focus on cultivating some peace, peace of mind, since uh, many of us have felt plenty of distress for a whole bunch of different reasons lately, including this week. Oh, good, another storm. And so I wanted to share this today, not as a, um, I know how to access perfect peace and I can do what to do. No, this is something we all need and we do the best we can to open up to the blind to what we need, uh, accepting that we can't produce it, we can't make it happen. It's not under our control and the more we try hard to make ourselves feel it, the less likely it actually is. So this is a, a unique kind of paradoxical practice today that I'm inviting us to do, to want to feel peace of mind and to let go of trying to get it to happen, like kind of letting go of the striving that actually ends up getting in the way. So I just want to put on your screen a little uh, quick note or two with a few photos just to have a sense of this. So the title for today is Peace Beneath It All. And this guided meditation, the idea is the, a peace that we're seeking that's kind of beneath all of our thoughts, emotions, everything that usually occupies the mind. So that's an important part of the uh, theme anyway that I wanted us to look at and explore together today. So just this, that uh, it's normal to want to numb or avoid stresses. I mean, who wants more stress in our lives? Just accepting for a moment that in the midst of the busyness of all that life can bring, that part of us that wants to block out all the stuff that takes away our peace is a normal thing, it's just that it never works, of course. So even if we want numbing or avoiding, those are just practices that are uh, very powerless, if you will, to actually uh, prevent the stress of our lives. Okay. And then that we often seek peace outside of us. So I just use this photo as an example of kind of uh, one part of us might say if I can just party enough if I can really get out there and do enough exciting things or whatever that somehow that's gonna bring more peace of mind and rarely unfortunately does that really work either peace isn't really on the outside and so that's a challenging part of what we're doing today we're really 
looking inside ourselves, even though we often feel like there's only stress on the inside with our emotions. But what we really know from experience is that peace arises from within. So what we'll do today is take a few minutes to settle to that inner country, if you will, that is beneath all the other things that are distressing to us, not avoiding them, not numbing them, just going down inside ourselves beneath all of that. That's just a little outline for what I'm inviting today. So this would be my invitation to you first, adjust yourself in terms of posture. See if, you know, you may be in a place where you're sitting, but you want to sit in a sense that you can tune in to your innate sense of worthiness or dignity as a human being. Or you may rather stand or even lie down. So just whatever posture is best for you for this time of cultivating some peace of mind, Whatever way you want to do that, see if you can get into that state with your posture of your own innate dignity and worth as a human being. And then decide now if you want to open your eyes or close them. If you want to open eyes, you might try just dropping your gaze a bit. So that again, you're tuning your attention more within and not as easily distracted by whatever's going on around you. So in my case, I'll close my eyes and just use that as a way to focus inside. And then another part of our practice to use our conscious breathing our attention to our breathing for a few moments to help us really create a state of opening ourselves readying ourselves for the kind of peace of mind that can come find us to arrive so try three or four deep cleansing breaths of breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth as you are able slow deep breathing an extra long exhale And again, then resuming your own natural pace of breathing, but still noticing that flow like giving the mind another place to come and attend to besides all its usual distractions and stresses. Or as we're still beginning, and as you're just breathing in your own normal way, still being aware of the sensation of breath coming and going, And when the mind wanders away, like it so often does, just guiding attention back to those sensations of breathing. And 
and filling up. And emptying out. And as we're breathing, take a moment to notice the state of the body. Just noticing if there is anywhere that is tense or stiff or tight or holding stress in any way. And if you can, see yourself as breathing in and out of that area. Like if my neck is holding my stress, that I might visualize breathing right in and out of the neck area. Breath by breath. Especially on the out breath, releasing that tension as simply as we can. A little bit like letting air out of a balloon as a way of releasing the tautness or tightness of the balloon. So each out breath, just letting go and letting go further. And as you continue breathing, let's also consciously bring relaxation to different parts of the body. So relaxing the forehead and our eyes. Relaxing the mouth and jaw. Relaxing the neck and shoulders. And relaxing the belly. And again, when the mind does its usual wandering to whatever's happening in your life, what has happened, what's going to happen, just guiding the attention right back to that soothing breathing. Remembering your intention to open up towards the peace that can arise from within as you breathe. Then picturing your being for a moment as though the brain area or the head is where thoughts are. And picturing the chest as a place where we often feel emotions. And 
been picturing the lower belly button, like just below the belly button, as though it's the center of the body, but also the center of our beings. As you breathe, imagine bringing your attention below the head and all those thoughts. Below the chest and all those feelings. Bringing your attention right on down to the center of being beneath thoughts and feelings. And as you breathe, being aware of this inner stillness that is just already there waiting for us beneath the thought and feeling. So notice this is not striving to make ourselves feel peaceful, but more settling down and down to that lower region of our being where peace already is. And this is a place from which you can just Notice the next thought that comes. Notice whatever feelings arise, even noticing the state of the body, but noticing without trying to do anything about any of it, not trying to get rid of any of it, more seeing it all from this deeper place of stillness. Like we're just a silent witness. And for some people, this is as though you were settling down to the bottom of a lake or river or even ocean where looking up, you can still see the waves of busyness and concerns and thoughts and worries and all, but sitting on the bottom, so to speak, or resting in that place of stillness from which we can just watch and observe all the rest that goes on in the mind and in the emotion. And as you're able, just continuing to breathe in and out of that place of stillness. Remembering that peace arises from within. And really from this quiet place underneath all the rest. And in this place, we can be exactly who we really are, being our true nature. No one to impress, nothing to accomplish, Complete. Just simply being the being we are. Well, as you're able for a moment, try dropping that usual way that we have to see ourselves in one way or another. Our usual identities or roles that we 
carry around in the world. And try more settling into this place of just being exactly who we already are. Like letting go of the pretending to really rest in true being, in true nature. Just like we were relaxing the body earlier in those states, relaxing the forehead and eyes, etc. Just like relaxing and releasing roles and identities, masks. Really relaxing into this innate being who has always just been who we really are. And then I'm going to invite you to notice your hands for a moment. Um, the position of your hands. I would like for you to rest one hand in the other, like kind of cradling one hand in the other. And then circling your thumb tips till they just touch each other. Really making a circle with your hand or hands. This bodily expression of wholeness. Because we're really bringing our attention into this place where we are whole beneath all brokenness. To whatever extent you can in this moment, bringing your attention to that space, open space, in the circle of your hands. You might even imagine yourself breathing in and out of yourself through that place of wholeness. Breathing in through the wholeness. And breathing out through the wholeness. To whatever extent it's possible as you breathe in, letting your being fill up with that awareness of your wholeness. This is also a place of oneness beneath our sense of separateness. So 
So often we think of all the ways that we think others are different from us. Sometimes we even feel like we don't really belong because we're not like others. But in reality, we are actually one just like the other. Feel the feelings you feel. All the fears and angers and joys and sorrows that we humans share. All the insecurities, stresses. Beneath all of that is this connection between us because we are the human family. Tuning into that connection as best you can. Breathing in and out of that place of wholeness and oneness. And if your eyes have been closed, you might slowly open your eyes. Bring in your awareness back to the room around you, but still, as much as you can, being aware of that quiet, still place of wholeness and oneness from which Peace rises. And for today, as we bring this time to a close, I'm just going to invite the singing bowl to ring three times. As you continue to stay as close as you can to that quiet inner peace. So thank you all so much for joining us today. And I just might mention that if you want to learn more about practices and groups and classes and workshops, retreat, or school for contemplative living, you can look at our website at t h e s c l dot net. In short, the school for contemplative living. Thank you so much, William. Uh, I'll put that link in the chat real quick, along with a link to our YouTube page. So everyone has access to both of those. Uh, and yeah, okay. Um, well, thank you so much. Uh, if anyone has any comments or questions, you can feel free to put them in the chat or unmute yourselves. Um, and if not, we'll, we'll wrap it up for today. All right. Well, thank you again. Thanks everyone for coming and uh, we'll see y'all soon. Thank you.